Hey, Tab Nation! Tom once again, and we're going to talk about another common thing. No code involved in this video, but we're going to be talking about antiviruses with AutoHotKey. Because a lot of people ask this question. I'm talking like daily in the Reddit forum for AutoHotKey. They always ask, you know, I have my virus scanner. It says AutoHotKey is not safe. Uh, also, where did my file go? AutoHotKey just disappeared off my desktop when I try to run it. So we're going to try to answer some of those questions. I'm using AVG in this video, but for the most part, it's going to be the same across all the board. Uh, you know, your setting locations are just going to be a little different is all. Um, so you just got to kind of navigate a little bit differently than me. Uh, so first is, you know, is AutoHotKey safe? Well, if you're downloading the um, actual... Uh, coding stuff uh, not where I want it to go there uh, yeah it is safe if you're, you're downloading it from the website it is safe so let me show you that real quick if I can get that to go and let's see let's go to the main one so this is the website if you're on here you're good to go definitely download it for here they even have a spot right here that says is it safe um, so if you want to read into more detail on that, you can definitely do that. There you know, there's uh, some ratings and stuff there. So yes, downloading actual auto hockey is, is safe. Uh, if you're creating your own script, it's safe. As long as you know what you're doing and, you know, accidentally don't delete something. Um, but, you know, you're the one doing the code. So hopefully you trust yourself. Um, now, obviously, when you download someone else's script, I mean, so far, I've never run into a problem where someone's tried to do something for evil purposes, but it is always possible. Uh, you know, there's some stuff out there that you can really look for. Make sure there's, you know, run through the code. Make sure it's doing something that you don't expect it to be doing. You know, is there a file delete in there? Well, why is it deleting my files? Uh, you know, make sure there's no, like, email sins or... Uh, text sends and if you know how to recognize those I have a video actually explaining that kind of stuff um, so you know just maybe take a glance at the code you know they, they could there could always be something but I've been lucky so far I've never had a single person ever try to do anything malicious towards uh, my computer so yeah now your script disappears off your desktop it's just gone where did it go well it goes into a folder called quarantine you cannot see this folder from just, you know, your basic file explorer here. It's hidden. So the easiest way to do that is open your uh, antivirus. So I'm opening uh, AVG here, the free version. And for me, obviously, it's going to be a little different for each uh, program you're using. But I'm going to go to menu. And I believe, yep, there's actually right here quarantine. And I actually had a file go into quarantine, and as you see, it is a .hk file. So that is where it is. Now, I want it back. I'm going to click on it. I don't want to say delete all, um, but I'm going to say restore. Now, if you want, you can also say add exception. That way, it doesn't happen again. So this is probably the one you want. Add exception. And then, there it is. It's back on my desktop. I found it. So yeah, definitely the kind of thing you want to do is uh, find out where your quarantine thing is if it does disappear. Um, so we'll be good. Um, and uh, when you do that, just add an exception. It learns pretty quickly after that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is, really. Those are the two most qu common questions I see being asked with uh, antivirus, with auto hockeys. Um, you know, just be careful when you're using someone else's script. It's going to be the biggest thing. If you're making your own script or just downloading auto hotkeys, you're going to be fine. You'll be good. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys actually have a, another antivirus program that you use, uh, let us know in the comments below where the quarantine option is. Like I just showed, that's where AVGs is. And uh, maybe help down below. That way, if someone has a different other program, they'll know exactly from the comments where to go to recover their um, file. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.